Shalom, Shalom, Pastor Corey. Talking to Israel this morning with great admonishment concerning our walk, you know, with the Most High and how I look around the ministry as well as here with Straightway Kansas City. And I, you know, and I see people, uh, you know, positioning themselves in such a way that it don't really look like we truly desire, or you know, desire Yah and all that He is, you know, prepared to do for the saints. Because see, the time has come. It ain't coming. The time has come where all these things that is written is set before us. And so I want to title this video, Strive to Enter In. And let, let's listen intently here re really quick uh, so that I can get on and get off and go about my day. And maybe you as so-called Israelites can hear this morning. Well, strive to enter in is exactly what it says, meaning that with your daily walk, you're going to put in the necessary efforts to remain holy, to keep watch over your mouth, you know, guard your eye gate, your ear gate. Uh, you're going to uh, do all that is within your power to do what you can for your neighbor, him that is in need, a sister, or what have you. But I, you know, I, I'm telling you, I, listen, I, I'm seeing it with my own eyes. People are not striving to enter in, you know, and, and it's almost like, you know, I look at a lot of people, you know, they do every effort that they can to get on to community, to dwell among the saints, and then they die in spirit, meaning that they draw near to you, and but behind your back, you know, they, they have do chores, you know, they uh, not praying or reading or studying as they should, and in turn, they put more weight on those who are already laboring at the max, and it, and it is extremely grievous to, to, to look some of you all in the face. You know, it's extremely grievous to even hear any more reports concerning you and your wife or your wives and things that you're doing. It, it, it is grievous because I know it's like you, you're not striving to enter in. You don't desire the most high. Yah. All you desire is his protection away from the things that you and I know is coming, but you don't want to do what it takes to remain in that protection. See, Yah is only doing this to, you know, save those who he had already promised that he was going to reserve, you know, in, in this time. And so, you know, even in the book of Second Ezra, you know, it was said that Almost all who were born, when they were born, immediately go over into perdition. So that means that almost all who were born shall perish. So that means there's a lot of people that's going to perish because of the lack of being able to do things that uh is necessary for us to enter into the kingdom and people you know people are not willing to do that and so uh, what i'm not willing to do is keep putting up with your bull crap i'm not willing to keep you know offering you you know wise counsel you know matter of fact you know some of y'all can lose my freaking phone number don't don't you know don't call me don't don't send me text messages don't show me what what you think you're improving on because you're not improving you know, you, you got to look at, take a real look in the mirror and evaluate yourself. 
because your efforts, man, they, they, you stinking up the place because you, you, you truly don't understand what this walk is. See, you know, in the first place, the most high Yah desired that we be set above all nations that is upon the face of the earth. And that meant that we were going to be the standard and the example before all nations. And I look at some of y'all, you saying you are Israelites and it's like, man, people look at you and they, you know what? It's that same old Christianity, that same Christian mentality. Yah know my heart. And so therefore you just keep carrying out these deeds, man. But I, I you know, I pray the whirlwind come. And just sweep some of you all away because it, it man we it's time you know for the time of reckoning to come on the earth and here it is you you don't even even in this last hour you are not striving you just as wicked as all outdoors you you just as wicked as the people that are out in the world and uh you know do do you do us and yourself a minute, I mean, a, a favor and just cut yourself off from the ministry, cut yourself out of dwelling among the people. You know, you do us a favor and uh, uh, separate yourself as uncleanness uh, because you know what the word says. You know, I, I look around, man, and it just some people bring in so much calamity into this ministry that, you know, it don't make sense. And, and so you can feel, you know, uh, from the, the, the heavenly realms and from the spirit realm that there is, man, there's a lot of people touching uncleanness and you will be fine. You will be found out. And I, I'm praying I am getting ready to just go in and put some true, true time in with the most high and that includes people here in this congregation whatever community you in wherever you at hiding in this ministry because i know that our shepherd and the leaders and, and those around us see listen this ain't about being perfect more than it is about striving for for, for perfection with a clean heart and a right spirit so that y'all can cause you to go over on to into a part of perfection but some of you all you, you that, that that's not your intent you you play you play with this and i'm praying y'all continue to expose the hearts and the reins of those who come because here's here's why i'm saying this video and then i'm getting ready to end it off as I look and see the detriment that's going to come over the earth, you know, and I look at, you know, all these uh, wicked inventions of the Gentiles. See, I'm not fearing because the Bible said that they were going to have all of these different type of inventions. So I'm not fearing. But what is fearful is that we still attach to. A lot of you all that you, I mean, you one foot in and one foot out. There's a lot of uncleanness and I, I'm just praying, man. I, I don't know who else has this on their spirits among the communities, but you know, I, in prayer this morning, uh, just even in the events that y'all reminded me how he showed, uh, uh, Joshua that there was calamity in the body. Then just all these recent things that's taking place. I know that there is, uh, you know, calamity that's dwelling. It's just like the time when, you know, we had, you know, found out about Miracle and Stacia and all that stuff, man, long before the Most High began to plant it on my spirit. And I told the saints, I said, you know what? You know, that was in May of that year. And I said, you know what? The Most High is showing me that it's something here. Now, I don't know what it is. I can't put my hand on it. But I asked the question. I said, is there people here dealing with strongholds that you have not got set free from yet? And people raised their hand and said, yeah, we have them. And I, I, I said plainly, I said, how then are you dwelling with these spirits when you know you're in a deliverance 
a deliverance ministry and you have not yet sought out deliverance to break these chains and break these things off you and people just sat there with the stupidest look on their face and i said you know what here's the other part of it the most high planted in my spirit by the time we get to june by the time we make it to this next new moon this next month He's going to reveal full and well what's happening in this congregation. You watch and I promise you, you watch it, man. I be dang when we hit June, boy, it all came out on the table. Not one stone unturned, nothing left. And so I'm telling you, man, you listen, what y'all better realize you are. De See, this ain't like a lot of places you are dealing with spiritual men who are called by Yah who the spirit of Yah dwells in us. And you're going to be found out in the sin that you're in. So I'm telling you right now, if you're dwelling in some type of calamity, you, you better fix it before Yah fix it. Because guess what, man? The, the, the people, the leaders will pray this thing out. And when you get exposed, just like many other people, boy, if Yah expose you open in plain sight as an open rebuke, before all the house of Israel, boy, I'm telling you, you're going to remember I'm saying it today. Pastor Corey is saying it today. And uh, you know what? Um, I want to leave that with you all. Make sure that you are striving to enter in. Do the things that we would, was admonished to do. Watch and pray. Keep guard of yourself. Let the Most High Yah lead you into all things and teach you all truths. Hey, you all be blessed. I'm Pastor Corey. Shalom, shalom.